If sequence S has 200 terms, what is the 192nd term of S? So statement number one tells us that the first term equals negative 40. Well, by itself, just knowing the value of the first term and nothing else about the sequence, this statement by itself is insufficient. Now we have to be very careful here and remember as we move on to statement two, we have to completely ignore and forget statement number one and consider statement number two on its own. Statement number two says each term of S after the first term is three less than the preceding term. So as we move from term to term, we're going to subtract three each time. Well, that's very interesting. And if we knew the value of the first term, We'd, or knew any term, then we'd be able to figure out the other terms from this because this gives us the pattern from term to term. However, when we just have this statement by itself, all we have is this pattern from term to term and we have no other values. We do not know the starting value if we just have statement number two. So this by itself is insufficient. Now, as you probably have anticipated, if we combine statement number one and two, well, then we know it starts at negative 40 and then decreases by three every time. Well, Shazam, we can figure out the whole sequence from that. It would take us a little while, but we could figure out all the way up to term number 192. This is perfectly sufficient when we combine them. So that is answer choice C.